We are standing on the precipice of a beautiful jungle waterfall, staring off onto the horizon of infinite potential. It is 0400. What's the O for? Oh my goodness, it's early. It's very early. We are making our pilgrimage to Palenque today. Razzle dazzle, how's it going? Welcome to Palenque, a ceremonial site of the Maya that reached its peak between 250 and 900 AD. One of the coolest inscriptions we read so far here is that in one of the temples, there is the most complete collection of Mayan hieroglyphics anywhere discovered. And it makes reference to events in the distant past one million years ago and longer, and also to events that happened in the year 4000 AD. The Maya believed that their leaders and the priestly class could time travel, both after death and while they were still incarnate. Palenque just opened back up last week after having been closed since the 21st of March. It's basically like we had the place to ourselves. So because it, Palenque was closed for so long, we were kind of expecting more animals. Here, there are indigenous to the area, tapers, anteaters, jaguars, and howler monkeys. So far, we've seen a lot of insects, but that's about it. Fingers crossed that we at least hear some monkeys soon. Well, this is a nice surprise. Uh, we've been in a mountain town with beautiful picturesque cobblestone streets and old churches from the 16th century. And lo and behold, just three and a half hours away, five hours with all the twists and turns, we are in the primordial jungle here. This is really something spectacular. Whew. So Palenque, the archeological site, truly impressive, definitely worth a trip but there's a lot more to the surrounding area than just the temple complexes. So we're gonna go check out El Panchan right now and see what all the hype's about. In the hyper digital Airbnb and booking.com age, we've actually just shown up in the middle of the jungle with no reservations whatsoever to a cash only place that we're not sure is open, but there sure as hell are a lot of winged beasts around here. Oh, to show you. okay, so there's a hornet nest here. So let's go ahead and get our room booked then. This is our room at Ed and Marguerite's, which is at the far end, far end of El Panchan. Perfectly adequate room. In fact, quite luxurious for the jungle accommodations surrounding it. We've got very functional and very welcome air conditioning. We hear howler monkey noises and bird calls. There's also a few spiders. It is the jungle. You wanna see a giant spider? No. Come see the giant spider. Why are you hiding? No, that's not, nope, don't. Nope. We're staying in the literal jungle. Like we're in the jungle and I step outside and one of the first things I see is this enormous three-legged spider with a bunch of colors on its leg. Never good thing when spiders have a bunch of colors on them. So I'm telling her about this spider. I'm like, come check out the spider. and. Before she even steps outside, I see a spider twice as big right above her head, immediately outside the door. So it looks like, you know, we got our work cut out for us tonight. We're not eating dinner tonight because we can't leave the room. Yeah, we're eating massive spiders for dinner. So this is the primary restaurant here in this little town of El Paichan that we are in. It's called Don Mucho's. Wow, fresh jungle peanuts. 
Does it get any better than that? Pulque made of fresh jungle peanuts. So the main reason we went out to Palenque was to experience Palenque, the famous Mayan ceremonial architectural site. But while we were in the area, we learned about an open secret from the locals called Cascadas Roberto Barrios. Estamos llegando aquí a Roberto Barrios. Vamos a nadar ahorita. Okay, I think we found the Garden of Eden. I think we found it and there's nobody else here. Hi folks, here it is. Cascadas del Roberto Barrios. You asked for it, you got it. right now like you can feel the suction pressure water hydration system working it's also raining it got really dark as soon as we got here hey anybody in america out there who's experiencing mental health issues i wish you could experience what it's like to be under a waterfall in a natural swimming pool while it's raining in the jungle there's no more depression here <laughs> So after experiencing Palenque, El Ponchan, and Cascadas Roberto Barrios, the jungle heat started to get to us a little bit, and we had some looming work reservations waiting for us back home. So we decided to head back to San Cristobal de las Casas. However, rather than going straight from A to B, we learned that it was possible to book a tour and stop at the famous Misol Ha and also Aguas Azul. I should have worn contacts. about Aguas Azul, it was completely brown because we're in the rainy season. There was a torrential deluge of water that kicked up a bunch of sediment and turned all of the rivers completely brown. It was also far more touristy and commercial oriented than Roberto Barrios. At Cascadas Roberto Barrios, there were no vendors and there was hardly anybody else there. However, at Agua Azul, it was basically like walking through Disneyland. Over 
overall, the adventure was absolutely splendid. However, our ride home wasn't without a little extra drama as we came upon a police roadblock and the driver stopped and chatted with the police and they told us that a stretch of road between Palenque and San Cristobal was currently totally unsafe to drive and was more or less seized by guerrilla forces. So we ended up driving with a National Guard and police escort for about an hour and a half of the way. We were asked to be completely silent and it definitely raised our suspicions and our alertness quite a bit. I'm pleased to say that nothing extraordinary came of the drive and we were safely shepherded back to San Cristobal de las Casas. We counted our lucky stars and we feel extraordinarily fortunate that we got to experience such an amazing adventure in two days time. What a beautiful experience. We're thankful to this place and we're looking forward to the next opportunity to explore more of Chiapas.